the wavelength endo-AVF system is indicated for the creation of an arteriovenous fistula, or AVF, using concomitant ulnar artery and ulnar vein, or concomitant radial artery and radial vein in patients with minimum artery and vein diameters of two millimeters at the fistula creation site, who have chronic kidney disease and need hemodialysis. Please refer to the instructions for use for indications, contraindications, hazards, warnings, and precautions. The Wavelink Endo-AVF system uses two thin, flexible magnetic catheters and a short burst of radiofrequency energy to create an AV fistula without open surgery. Patients considered healthy enough to have a standard endovascular procedure qualify for further assessment for the Wavelink Endo-AVF system procedure. Standard AVF screening includes checking for good inflow with the brachial artery, measuring at least two millimeters in diameter, and good outflow with either the cephalic or basilic vein measuring at least 2.5 millimeters in diameter and without a flow limiting central venous stenosis. The Wavelink Endo-AVF system procedure has three additional screening requirements. First, a perforating vein at least two millimeters in diameter must be present, as this is how the superficial and deep veins communicate. Second, an adequate endo-AVF creation site is needed with either the ulnar artery and a paired ulnar vein, or the radial artery and a paired radial vein, measuring at least two millimeters in diameter. Finally, the vein and artery used for access need to accommodate a five French introducer sheath, which is approximately two millimeters in diameter. Not all patients will be candidates for the Wavelink Endo-AVF system procedure. Those who do not have a perforating vein or have known central venous stenosis or upper extremity venous occlusion on the same side as the planned AVF creation are not candidates. Also, the procedure is contraindicated for patients with endo-AVF target vessels less than two millimeters in diameter. Your procedure plan starts with choosing the endo-AVF creation site, either ulnar or radial. Because the human anatomy is different from person to person, your approach to the endo-AVF creation site will vary, and the Wavelink endo-AVF system allows for this. You may choose a parallel approach by accessing the upper arm brachial artery and brachial vein, or you may choose an anti-parallel approach by accessing the upper arm brachial artery and the ulnar or radial vein at the wrist. After venous and arterial access have been achieved and guide wires are in place, advance the arterial catheter over the guide wire and through the arterial sheath into the brachial artery. Under fluoroscopic guidance, advance the catheter to the target endo-AVF site. Next, rotate the arterial catheter until the illumination of the rotational indicators appear as open boxes and the peaks of the backstop are pointed towards the target vein. Next, advance the venous catheter over the guide wire and through the venous sheath into the brachial vein. Under fluoroscopic guidance, advance the venous catheter toward the target endo-AVF creation site. Before the magnets engage with the arterial catheter, rotate the venous catheter until the illumination of the rotational indicators appear as open boxes and the arc of the electrode is pointed toward the arterial catheter. Once correctly aligned, advance the venous catheter until the arc of the electrode sits within the concave surface of the backstop on the arterial catheter. The electrode should appear compressed. Both catheters contain a series of magnets that allow them to co-opt and maintain proper rotational alignment to one another. These steps remain the same for the anti-parallel approach. The catheters will just advance from opposite directions and the rotational indicators will be in different locations. Regardless of approach, confirm that the catheters are properly aligned. Under fluoroscopic guidance, remove both guide wires. Connect the venous catheter to the electrosurgical generator via an electrosurgical pencil. Turn the generator on and ensure settings are programmed accordingly. Under fluoroscopic visualization, press and hold the yellow cut button on the electrosurgical pencil to create the channel between the artery and vein. After activation, remove the venous catheter followed by the arterial catheter. Lastly, when a patient has more than one brachial vein and one of those is observed to have significant outflow, we recommend embolizing that brachial vein to promote blood flow to the superficial vessels.
Over the next several weeks, the endo-AVF will mature. Due to the nature of the anatomy, multiple outflow vessels may dilate. Keep this in mind when assessing the endo-AVF for cannulation.